We have a story now for anyone bombarded by annoying robocalls. One couple got so many from Bank of America that they sued and won more than a million dollars. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross here with the story. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, George. It's against federal law for debt collectors to use those robocalls once you tell them to stop, even if you owe a lot of money. But now one of the country's biggest banks, the Bank of America, has apparently been caught red-handed, and it's not the first time. Saturday, 7.41 a.m. This is Michael with Bank of America. The automated robocalls to the Coniglio family of suburban Tampa about their overdue mortgage payments... Please call Bank of America Home Loans. ...came morning, noon, and night. Please give us a call at your earliest convenience. 700 call times call in all over a four-year period. This is Michael with Bank of America. Unrelenting, long after the family begged the bank to stop as they told Tampa TV station WTSP. They treat us very badly. There's no two ways about it. This is Michael with Bank of America. If I did what Bank of America did, I'd probably be behind bars. Thank you for your time, and have a nice day. Furious, the Coniglio sued the giant bank, and now a federal judge has ordered Bank of America to pay them more than a million dollars, $1,500 per call. The fact is, if you ask a company to stop calling and they don't, Every single call could be worth $1,500, and this court awarded that. It's a problem across the country. An elderly couple in California claims they got 2,000 calls from Bank of America, 350 to a woman in Arkansas, and more than 600 to the phones of Mehran Vali of Indiana. I would describe it as harassment. It was just constant, repetitive calls daily. It's not the first time Bank of America has been accused of going over the line. Four years ago, ABC News found they hired a collection agency in Texas that used profane, racist pressure tactics. Why are you be scared? Don't want to pick up the phone now? Huh? Is it because you remember what you said then? Bank of America did not stop using the firm until we confronted the bank president, Brian Moynihan. That kind of language, is that acceptable to you? The it would not word, be acceptable. The effort? I would not be acceptable. I'll find out. Consumer lawyers say the abusive language may have stopped, but the repetitive robocalls being used today represent another kind of abuse. As for the 700 calls to the couple in Tampa facing foreclosure, Bank of America told ABC News they were calling just trying to help them. Okay. George? Okay. 700 times. It's a lot. That is.